Hello, my name is Adam Lever, and I will be furthering the information from my previous colleagues by providing more info and insight of where Delta Airlines stands in the market existing today, and concluding on what ought to be done to find continual success for them in the future. First, we'd like to break down which competitive strategy that Delta seems to be pursuing. With their new outline for customers to pay for the amount of services that they receive, your prices sometimes can be found above those of your competitors. That coupled with your most recent report stating that 50% of your operating cash flow is being used on your fleet, this is helping you to provide the most comfortable and technologically up-to-date experience for your customers. Lastly, as we lead the pack in net income as Corey stated previously, when we break that down, we see it is because of your domination in some of the less competitive markets. These facts combined help us to understand and see that you are currently pursuing the broad differentiation strategy. As I mentioned before, you provide a variety of services, but many of them only come into play as you're willing to pay for them. As you can see, the Sky Team benefits displayed uh, for us here these tiers or levels help you to provide the most amazing service that you are known for and you give it to the right people that are willing to pay that premium price do not change your pricing strategy as you as if you do you would change completely your competitive market you don't have to appeal to the cheap market share but on that same note Keep a watchful eye on all internal actions, as you need to be prepared for the worst and continue to be profitable even if something like gas prices were to rise up to $100 a barrel. As Corey showed in the graphs he presented, Delta's biggest competitors are United, Continental, Southwest Airlines, and American Airlines. Delta is separating themselves from the their competitors by dominating the less competitive markets across the globe. Yes, they are not only dominating them in this area and flying to where their customers want to be, but they are also outperforming their competitors in no cancellations and on-time departure, departures and arrivals. You are solidifying your reliability in each perfectly executed flight. Our, uh, our advice is to not slip up now. People are watching you to see how long you can, you can keep this up. If you can truly show that you are dependable as you have been in this past year specifically, you can win market share. People do not like uncertainty. They want to know that when they buy their plane ticket, everything is going to run exactly as planned. Anita touched briefly on joint ventures that you have pursued in the past. Here are examples of some of those joint ventures. But the potential for expansion with new joint ventures in Asia as Corey spoke, these could help us climb even higher. Make sure that when we are looking for these joint ventures that we align ourselves with an airline that has the same drive for and quality of assurance that we represent at Delta. May we suggest Cathay Airways or Singapore Airlines these are some of the top airlines in Asia. We would need to further our knowledge and see what kind of values that they support. Overall, you have brought Delta to a great position in the market, but the market does not ever slow down. As you implicate some of our strategy suggestions, such as sticking to your core values, personalizing every point in the buying process, continuing to pay off your high debt you have incurred in winning your current market share, and also joint venturing with a strong force in Asia that matches your values, of course. We know that if you do these things that you can continue to soar. In fact, I think that you put it best in your own words. Delta will indeed keep climbing. Thank you.